welcome to episode one of my channel and I guess by starting off I should tell you what my channel is going to be about. My channel is going to be about anything that has to do with cars, anything that as far as you know car shows, anything like that. Uh, I'm a mechanic by trade so I'll probably have some videos on some how-to videos on to you know as far as installing parts things of that nature. My Me and my dad run a shop so I'll probably have plenty of videos for stuff like that but um and I like riding dirt bikes too, so I'll probably have some dirt bike videos, things of that nature, um, going riding with friends and stuff like that. And probably uh, in the next couple weeks or so, I'll have some videos on that because the weather is kind of starting to warm back up a little bit. Not much, but enough to go ride. And so, but today's video is going to actually be about my car, you know, what I've done to it. It's a 95 Mustang GT and you know kind of do an intro video of my car so let's get this video started here we go all right guys here it is like i say it's a 95 mustang gt do a little walk around i love this car it's super nice car i've done a lot of work to this thing as you can tell it looks pretty good it's not bad for a poor white boy but uh all right, now what I figured I'd do, I'd start off by doing a video of like what I've done to it and stuff like that. So I'll start off with the interior and just some of the things I've done there. And uh, one of the first things I started doing to this car was I took and I blacked out pretty much everything. I'm not done yet, as you can tell. The steering wheel, that door panel, this door handle right here is also needing to be uh, blacked out. But I actually painted everything in here. The, as far as the interior to the door trims the the dash uh, I think the only things I didn't paint were these pillars that come up through here the headliner was already black and these pieces right here uh, around the rear windows and <clears throat> but that was one of the first things I did the next thing I done I got uh, the black carpet and I, I got this from LMR which is Lake Model Restoration You'll hear me say that a lot, that and American Muscle. And I also got these seats from LMR. This was one of the other things I've done. I took and uh, I got these seats from LMR. They're TMI seats, and I love these seats. These seats are great. They're so comfortable. They're easily adjustable, easy to install. They're, they got black suede, uh, black leather. The white stitching is a really nice feature. Um, and they're just they're super nice i'm very very impressed with these seats and the other thing i the only other thing i really got to do to the interior besides getting it the rest of it blacked out is i am going to get a momo steering wheel for this because the i mean i like the stock style steering wheel but i don't feel like going through the problem of trying to change the steering wheel out and put another factory wheel on there and get another get a black wheel so I'm just gonna put a Momo steering wheel on there so that's already done and don't have to worry about it anymore that's pretty much it for the interior the only other thing I really got to do is get this radio installation kit fixed but that's one of my last worries like I say it it doesn't fall out or nothing but it is pretty floppy as you can tell I just got to get it fixed and get it good to go but that's a cheap fix so it's not you know like on the top of my list of things to do first but uh, so we'll we'll move on from there and we'll go to the performance aspect of it so we'll get out of the car and get under the hood and check everything All right, so out. we'll talk a little bit about the performance aspect of it now like I say this is a brand new engine I went back through it it probably has less than 3,000 miles and if you know anything about cars you can automatically tell these you know this is carb swapped I did carb swap it I uh, I'm, I've been around racing for a long time and instead of me having to take it somewhere and get it tuned you know every time I do something to it I don't feel like having to do that so what I did I, I know how to tune on the carburetor and I know how to work on them really good so I just swapped it to that it was very simple very easy I'll do a video on that one day of what I actually I had to do to swap it over and it's really simple it, it's not hard at all but moving on uh, like I said, I do got it carb swapped. It's a 60 over bottom end. It has a, a E303 cam, um, 1.6 Trick Flow rocker arms, and Ford Racing roller lifter. It is a roller lifter cam, and uh, Ford Racing push rods. All that stuff I got through American Muscle. 
and I got these valve covers actually at a car show in Tennessee and and this breather to all match so it looks really good and the engine's actually still pretty clean and I haven't cleaned it any and uh, we'll move on but it's got just regular shorty headers just regular GT 40p shorty headers and oh yeah it, I do have GT 40p heads they are just iron heads they are uh, they're really good heads as far as I've had them ported polished uh, comp cam valve springs it's got one millimeter oversized valves and it, they 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 probably flow pretty good for what they are and that's probably the best iron head you'll get out of a out of a Ford and I do like them but I, I am getting them some aluminum heads for it here soon and they'll be from AFR but moving on the transmission I mean you can't see it but uh, it is brand new I had it rebuilt too because it wouldn't stay in second gear so I had new synchronizers put in new shift forks uh, uh, made sure all the gears and stuff in there were good and it's got a new clutch new uh, everything in there pilot shaft bearing and throttle bearing and all that stuff it's, fa it's still factory transmission we'll move on to the exhaust you can't really see it that good probably but I do got uh, pipes cat backs uh, exhaust this got the M80 mufflers if you can see it right there this got a off-road H pipe and it comes all the way back to the three and a half inch tips, which I think look really good. And I did put FR500 uh, wheels on it. I still got factory brakes. I just kind of dolled them up a little bit, painted them and stuff. And uh, I got those wheels from American Muscle, as you can see on the center caps. They look really good. I love the FR500 wheels. And I also got the headlights from American Muscle too, and that's just a one-piece headlight. Really happy with those too, how they look. It is a GT, but it's got a Cobra front bumper, and I like the Cobra front bumpers better. It doesn't have any fog lights, so I got to get those put in there. But that's also a pretty cheap pick fix. It's only like I think around 100 bucks. Okay, I think that's it on the performance aspect of it. So. What we'll do, we'll take and uh, what I'm also going to do today is a, a video on uh, the 308 gear. I recently purchased a 410 gear kit from Yukon, and it's I mean it's got everything: 31 spline axles, the new carrier, and it's got everything. So what I'm going to do is get a uh, get in the car, go for a drive, and do some pulls and stuff like that, and just show you what the 308 gear is. And then once I get the 410 in, I'll do the other video on what I think about it. But without further ado, here we go. Can't be too loud because I don't want to piss off the neighbors. Everybody that lives around me is pretty old and kind of ornery. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to get the GoPro set up and we'll get going. So while the car is getting warmed up and I'm driving around a little bit, I figured I'd just kind of give you my thoughts on the 308 gear that's in it. And it is a factory gear. I, I mean, it, it's okay for a stock. I guess you could say if you got a stock engine set up, but...
into fifth gear and these things like a .63 somewhere in there, .6 something in fifth gear, which is, that's pretty low gear. Fourth gear should be one to one, I'm fairly positive. And uh, now going down the highway, this is a really good gear. Like if I wanted to take this car on trips now, it would be fine. sitting here this is where we're gonna end the video off um 
I can say if you uh, like the if you like the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, drop a like, drop a comment, things of that nature. You know, just you know, tell me some things I need to work on. I'm sure there's a lot of things. This is my first video. I'm sure they'll get better, and you know, I'm I'm excited to start this channel. Hopefully, everything goes well, and I get a whole bunch of videos for you guys, and get a good bitty, good many subscribers. But um, until next time, guys. Like I say, thank you for watching. See you next time.